Hello again. I have remarked on more than one occasion that British television producers are now obsessed, seemingly, with trying to pretend that the country has always been multicultural. The remake of All Creatures Great and Small, uh, which it was on television over Christmas, turned one of the characters from the books into a black woman. And in the remake of Black Narcissus, which began, of course, on Boxing Day, one of the nuns is perhaps inevitably shown as being black. This is a little irritating, but we must not lose sight of the work also being carried out by archaeologists and museums who are produced, um, pursuing a similar dubious agenda. A few months ago, I talked about the Natural History Museum in London, which produced, on the flimsiest grounds, a reconstruction of a British man from around 10,000 years ago, the so-called Cheddar Man, named after the, the location where his skeleton was found in England. Uh, was, it may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. The evidence for supposing him to have been black was faulty and the magazine New Scientist retracted um, their original view on the matter. I include a link to the video I made on this scandal in the description to this present video. It was perhaps inevitable that other museums, especially those in fashionable and left-wing areas, would try the same stunt. And so when I heard that the Brighton Museum had knocked up something very similar, I had to have a look. I include a link to the website of this museum and show their reconstruction in the thumbnail to this video. The really weird thing about this piece of nonsense is that even after taking the advice from the team which gave us the Cheddar Man, the museum at Brighton still had to egg the pudding in the most peculiar way. They were advised that a woman found near Brighton, uh, who is remained to have been dated to about 3500 BC, and is known as Whitehawk Woman, that she came from Wales and that she had a complexion perhaps similar to that of people from the southern Mediterranean. Just look at what they actually produced. The only people in the southern Mediterranean, that is to say countries like Italy, Spain and Greece, who look like that are African asylum seekers. The museum was so keen to promote the multicultural agenda that they have made the thing look not like a southern Mediterranean individual, but rather like somebody from sub-Saharan Africa. I'll be doing videos about other museums which are producing similarly misleading reconstructions in the near future. <laughs>